After the poles are set at the desired height, it is time to put on the net. Let's take a look at everything you need to put on your volleyball net. You should have the net, dowel rods, net locks with dog clips, net lock covers, hook and loop side straps or side ties, and the tight right if you are using one. Carefully unpack and stretch out your net between the poles. Before each use, it is important to thoroughly inspect the net and make certain the cables are free from nicks and fraying. Insert the dowel rod into the slit in the net as shown and repeat on the other side. Once your dowel rods are inserted, you will not need to repeat this step again. It is time to put on your net. Start with a non-ratchet pole. Simply place the cable with the factory formed loop over the pole onto the pulley wheel. When using a tight right net tension gauge, clip the top end to the factory formed loop on the top cable and place the other end on the pole hook. The tight right is optional and recommended to help ensure proper net tightening. If you are not using the tight right, slip the factory formed loop over the hook on the pole. Now take the other end of the net and place the top cable over the pulley wheel and down to the ratchet. Tie a slip knot loop and hook the cable on the ratchet hook. Please note, it is important to always stand to the side of the pole, never behind the pole. Turn the ratchet handle clockwise to take the slack out of the cable. Always keep an eye on the cable to ensure it remains in the groove of the pulley wheel. Continue cranking until the net has full tension. If you are using a tight right, tighten the net until the gauge on the tight right is in the green zone. Center the net between the poles. Attaching the net locks to the bottom cable is simple. There is a plunger ball bearing mechanism that grabs the rope. Pull the plunger and while holding it out, Slip the rope into the small end of the net lock and through the other end. Wrap the loose end of the rope around the pole and tie it to the metal dog clip. Then, attach the dog clip to the net lock. Repeat on the other side. The net lock should be positioned close to each pole before tightening. Pull both net locks tight. Your net will arrive with side ties attached and a separate package of hook and loop side straps. Most of our customers prefer using side straps. To use the side straps, simply remove the side ties, insert the straps through the grommets at the top, bottom, and middle of each side. Wrap the strap around the pole beneath the cable, never over it, and fasten as shown. Hook and loop side straps may also be attached to accommodate a larger spread between the net and pole, as shown here. Add net lock covers. Thank you for choosing Sports Imports, the only net system at the center of every championship.